Hello, you beautiful people. What's going on, everybody? It's Cyberlox here. Uh, and today, we're going to be talking about something that nobody gives two shits about, and that's going to be Call of Duty 2020. Why do I care? I don't care. But I thought I'd make this video because this is practically what's going to happen. This video is going to be speculative, um, but it's pretty much going to be how it is. Um, for those that don't know, COD 2020 and uh, the whole deal is that we're supposed to have a tree year development cycle in COD. It started about six years ago with Advanced Warfare, and turns out uh, there's been some little bit of consternation going on between Sledgehammer and Raven Studios, and there's a whole issue about not being able to make the next Call of Duty game uh, next year. And honestly, at this point, I mean, I'm not really a COD player as much anymore. I just do this because, you know, my I'll be honest with you, my uh, older videos on Black Ops 4 Blackout got a lot of views, so I thought I could try to entertain the community this way, but that's not the point. Um, Sledgehammer Games, who made Advanced Warfare and World War II, and Raven have not been best buddies, let's say that, in the past bit, and so because of this tension, they're not going to be in the next core development cycle. Will they be back? I do not know. Um, however, I do know for a fact that that leaves the burden on one studio, and if, through the process of elimination here, um, Modern Warfare is being developed by Infinity Ward this year, and it's practically about to be ready. The beta was a little bit rough, uh, especially Ground War, but didn't get the chance to play that that much because, you know, there's just not enough time in life. Um, but the beta was a little bit rough, especially Ground War, and that's Modern Warfare with Infinity War. That's their spiel. So who's developing 2020's COD? And that would be Treyarch. And the thing about Treyarch is, are they going to have enough time to do this? If you didn't know, um, recently, I'm pretty certain that yesterday or a few days ago, um, depending on when this video is up, they released the final, or supposedly the final operation that ends the zombies story, I believe. I don't play zombies, correct me there. I'm pretty certain it ends the entire zombie story there. That's Black Ops 4 is the ending of zombies. And it's called some heroic shit. That's bullshit. I stopped playing Blackout and Black Ops 4 about February-ish, somewhere about there. Um, they release all this nonsense, reserve cases, microtransactions, you know, typical Activision shit. And they are going to be the next one in line. If Sledgehammer's out of the picture, and it's going to be... It was formerly Sledgehammer, Treyarch, and then Infinity Ward, and then it's going to be Infinity Ward and Treyarch. And if they're still pushing reserve cases, and they're still making this useless content for Black Ops 4, albeit they're giving it to Troy, it's going to be a shit show. There are sources out there, and I'll try to find some on the screen here that you're about to see, that say that COD 2020 will be a Cold War game. And this is where the video title comes into play. This is this not and this is not clickbait. Um, those that don't know who've played the original Black Ops one, and even part of Black Ops two, the original Cold War. Now we're kind of the U.S. is still in a Cold War right now with North Korea, but that's a different subject for a different day. But the actual Russian Cold War uh, that the U.S. was in the United States. That was emphasized completely, even with the Bay of Pigs, during the first Black Ops game. It was a down-to-earth game. And some people today, they do all these things about saying, politically correct this, and it's a load of bullshit. Um, and they're probably going to censor a few things out. So here's why I'm thinking that Black Ops 5, or whatever you want to call it, isn't going to be Black Ops 5. That'd be way too repetitive. Not to mention that literally the sources are confirmed that this is going to be in some sort of Cold War era, which honestly... I honestly don't know anything about Treyarch. They used to be a superior studio. Black Ops 1 and 2 were solid games in my opinion. Black Ops 2 was rough with the advanced movement. Black Ops 4 was... Uh, I had a lot of hope for it. I had a lot of passion for it. It was back to being boots on the ground. And then they had the MTX stuff drop and then I was completely done with it. But 2020 will be a shit show. Uh, they are cramming assets together for this game. And either it's going to be more recycled trash and rubbish from before. Or they'll try to remaster Black Ops 1 and 2 like they did before now. Cold War is most likely going to be a Black Ops 1 remaster, but obviously it wouldn't be a remaster with Call of Duty if they didn't have microtransactions. So I'm sure there'll probably be a way to, in wager matches, to buy card points off of people. That way you can spend them and get all this useless stuff. Because, you know, like just like Modern Warfare Master, the original Call of War, I remember playing that. Lots of out of mouth glitches, by the way. There were no supply drops there. Matter of fact, I believe Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was the first one to ever uh, introduce the MTX system. Albeit there were individual guns and trinkets you could buy in Ghost, but they were not... They were pretty much direct. You knew what you were getting. Um, it was a gambling system, Advanced Warfare on, and it's never stopped since then. It's never seeded. So, Black Ops... 
a remastered, Black Ops 2 remastered, maybe both. I strongly doubt they'll be that generous, though. All I can say is that assets are getting crammed in by the second as we probably speak. There's no time for them to brainstorm ideas since this is now we're going back to the two-year cycle as far as I remember. And honestly, if you think about this in retrospective, a two-year cycle is not that good because the first two-year cycle came with Advanced Warfare with Sledgehammer Games. And that first game, ironically, was the first game to have, as I said before, supply drops. And if we go back to a two-year game, Activision's going to find a way to cramp supply drops in. That's another aspect of the game they have to deal with. How are they going to elicit these transactions? How are they going to make all this money system work? They made... $800,000 figure salary just from people buying these things. And if you're still playing Black Ops 4, a few questions, why? Uh, a second question, if you're buying supply drops, why? Stop. You're just giving them more money so that way they continue to cheat us in the wheel. A lot of people have a lot of backlash against Black Ops 4, and it was great when it came out, and then they started doing all these fixes and statistical things, and it just completely went mind-boggling, terribly wrong. And Black Ops 5, or I don't think it's be called that, just Black Ops something remastered. I just don't think that it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to be a remaster with MTX, and you're going to get that. The Infinite Warfare situation with Modern Warfare Master. The only reason you get Infinite Warfare, most people, uh, was just to get Modern Warfare Master, because at the time it was being sold in 2016, it was not being sold on its own. Now it's a standalone game, but back then, and you, even if you still have it now, uh, you have to put in the Infinite Warfare DLC, and I don't think that they're just going to sell Black Ops Remastered just right like that, because compared to now, there's nowhere near as much content as we have now. However, back then, there were a lot more maps initially released. There's a lot more content and quality DLC as, a ma as the season pass went on. If we take a look at Black Ops 4, the most recent installment, we just got two, only two new maps with this actual new operation, and Jungle Flooded was a weather variant, so if we count that as tree even, typically we get four maps. That's been the traditional DLC with the season pass, and you can already tell you've been scammed, but it doesn't even matter anyways, because Black Ops 4 is becoming super relevant if it's not already relevant enough, and that's where we just draw the line here. Uh, it's just... Black Ops 4 was a very rough road after about February. Didn't even bother really playing it that much. I played with a few friends now and then. They have all these interesting game modes and interesting in air quotes. They even have this exo jumping shit where you can play Infinite Warfare on Black Ops 4. Bringing back the classic microtransactions from Black Ops 3 as well. Uh, lots of stuff in reserve cases. It's just mind boggling. But I'm going to stop talking in circles here. Point is, if we come down and whittle this video down to one little thing, the point is, Black Ops. 2020, whatever you want to call it, will most likely be a remaster due to that reason of there's so much, it's just a shit show going on probably at the studios right now because Sledgehammer's out of the game and they have no more content to make. They're still pushing stuff out for this game, albeit it's probably the last stuff, but they're still pushing it out up to Modern Warfare's release date. And objectively looking, without looking at the nonsense that's being released, it's an okay tactic to keep your game trying to be alive to get that last cent out for Activision before they start making money on Modern Warfare. As for what will be offered in Modern Warfare, I feel like you'll be able to directly buy these things called blueprints, which is, I only know that term because of the beta. If you play it, you get like this shotgun blueprint with like a different look. It's a little crazy, but as of right now, we got to take off the rose lenses glasses. We got to stop being more consumer when it comes to consumer friendly things. I know it made no sense. It basically means be cognizant of what you're buying and know the cause of why you're buying it. Because if you're just buying weapon charms and reserve cases, what are you doing with your money? Oh, your parents' money, most likely. It's going to be your parents' money. Um, just please stop being blindsided. Anyways, to prevent this from being a 10-minute long video, because I don't want it to do that, but I just thought I'd have to get this point across. Code 2020 most likely be this. I know nobody cares about it, I myself included, but that's how I'm probably going to look, judging by this current rate. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And that being said, guys, I'm Cyberlocks, and I'm signing out.